dear students namaste let us discuss the new experiment under the course pharmacology practical and this is experiment number 4 as per the pci new syllabus year 2020 this is experiment number 4 which will cover different routes of administration which is frequently used to administer or to introduce or to inject the drugs in different animals which is used for experimental pharmacology myself mr abhijit ankush kathre working as a lecturer in kesari's krishna college of pharmacy karan so as you know dear students experiment number 2 in that experiment we already discussed what are the different animals which is used for the experimental purpose and in experiment number 3 we already discussed what are the different equipments which is used for experimental pharmacology apart from these two this is the new concept by this experiment we can clear or we can discuss or we can prepare the report what are the different routes why are this we can administer the dose to the animals So, what are practical outcomes after completion? Students should explain the procedure of administration of drugs by various routes and choose the correct site for the administration of drug. Consider as per the procedure, it may be which experiment we will conduct. As per that norms, we can find out what are the different routes and what is the definition of routes of administration so dear students the way of administration of drugs into the body is called as routes of administration i think you write this definition in your notebook pause this video and write in your notebook with the help of this uh, way we can administer the dose into the animals what are the different significance of this roots of administration the number one is chemical properties which will help before administration to the roots of administration we can consider this root uh, chemical properties of the drug what is the physiological effect after administration of this drug into the body it may be also consider then the nature of the study which experiment we will conduct which animal we are using for that according to that we will change the route of administration and the dose quantity if the dose in uh, intravenous route compare with the oral route the dose quantity is small or less so these are the different significant factors that are important which is to be considered during the routes of administration now the next point is what are the different routes and the routes is divided into specially in three parts number one is enteral route in a small language simple language we can call it oral it's also called as intravascular route second one is parenteral route and that parenteral is again divided into different five types intravenous intraperitoneal intramuscular subcutaneous and transdermal route and the last one is a tropical route with the help of this route we can administer it on the surface of the skin or apply the drug or dose to the surface of the skin so you write this classification in your notebook and the next part what is the detail about the first route how to administer the dose in this route we can administer the dose in solution or suspension form form with the help of feeding needles or tubes via oral cavities we can choose the appropriate cavity size according to the animal and with the help of that cavity we can incorporate or we can inject not inject we can administer via oral so this see this image this is mice and here is the needle and uh, with the help of that needle we can administer the dose to the animal this is the first oral route of administration 
Then the second, before going to next, this is animal, this is wire gauge. You can administer like this. You can imagine how to administer this rules. Now let us discuss the next root is parenteral root and parenteral root number one intravenous, second intraperitoneal, third intramuscular, subcutaneous, intradermal. These are the different roots. This is the description of them, dear students. Intravenous into blood, peritoneal, peritoneal cavity, intramuscular into the muscles, subcutaneous under the skin and intradermal across the screen. These are the different roots. It, whenever we compare with the oral route, the injection is directly administered to the vein or directly administered to the peritoneal cavity, skin or maybe in your muscles. So intravenous route directly inject into the blood vessels. We can administer the dose in the lateral vein or tail vein to the animals. Place the animal into the chamber and the tail with the help of needle we just dip that tail into the warm water or clean with the cotton to observe this vessels whenever we are using the warm water it will visualize what are the or where is the veins is present so with the help of water warm water we can highlight the vein easily and with the help of that we can administer the needle into that veins. Next is the intraperitoneal directly inject into intraperitoneal cavity. See this image. This is the peritoneum cavity directly inject into abdomen area or lower right quadrant. These are the size of the gauze we can choose as per the animal and administer. Maximum value is also is there. Then the next intramuscular directly deposit into the muscle tissues. It will help rapid absorption compared with other roots like oral. This is the animal leg and here is the specific area of the leg that we can administer the dose with the help of injection. Subcutaneous root directly administer into the dermis or epidermis or below the dermis and epidermis layer. This is exact location. You can tight the skin which is located in the neck region and use that needle and insert that needle into the then the next and last is the intradermal across the screen. With the help of the drug, we can directly administer to the dermis layer of the skin. So these are the different routes of administration. And the last route is a local application. We directly apply in the skin. This is the three different classes. Now see this uh, table, which is very important when your consideration of dose. Can pause and draw this table in your note. These are the roots, this is the spaces, the spaces, the volume up to maximum volume is mentioned in this volume range, and there is the specific site on that site of the body we can inject for administrative dose. Then, with the help of this formula, we can calculate the volume or uh, injection volume with the help of this formula. Animal weight multiplied by animal dose divided by the concentration, which is given into the your manual. You can calculate easily with the help of this. Now let us discuss the procedure. This is very important. This is the first animal. You just observe this. Animal is a rat, behavior, grooming, this is the rearing movement, handling techniques, how to handle this rat, 
how to handle the tail handling with the tail with the help like this this is the position for injection to the intramuscular root see this intramuscular administration then another next dose is intra peritoneal see this is the peritoneal cavity below the stomach then the next is the subcutaneous see this in the neck region it's like this use this needle and inject into the animal and the last is the oral root so with the help of cannula or the gavage needle directly administered into the mouth cavity how to differentiate between two this is the rat and this is mice how to differentiate between two tail and head ratio this is the needles small needles is used for mice large needle used for rat how to identify the tails rat tail is rough and longer mouse tail is smooth and vein is visible the gender identification male rat there is a gap between the gender organs like anus and the reproductive organs in female this gap is small or gap is the short so i hope you understand this so these are the different uh, oral needles gavages with the help of the size you can choose according to the animal these are the various sizes from 8g to 18g so i hope you understand this if you have any doubt you message me this complete the experiment we will it will help to conduct the bhava on this topic thank you